Okay, so the phone you see on the left is the one without the modification to the internet speed, and the one on the right is the one with the modification. So you can see the speed increase there. Everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'll show you how to add a modification to your Android phone where you can make your internet faster without having to pay anything extra. So the first thing you need to do is go on to the settings and search for an application that's called speed test. We're going to use this to measure the internet speed on our Android phone. This is like a proof to show you that the internet speed was much slower before the modification was made so bear with me while we install this application i usually go for this app just because uh this is more accurate in terms of the speeds and the numbers so we're going to do the test before we do anything so let's go ahead and start the test if it's your first time installing this application it might ask you to continue a few times so just bear with it and then tap on continue once you're done with that you can go ahead and tap on start and we can wait for the internet speed to do its connection and its numbers. So while we're waiting for that, it would be lovely for you guys to follow me on Instagram and make sure to also comment or like this video if this is something you're enjoying. So now we have a download speed of 62 megabytes per second and our upload speed is four megabytes per second. So that's relatively fast, but we're gonna make it much faster. The way you do this is by going to the settings. You're not gonna install any applications or add any modification. Just go to the settings and then scroll down until you see about. Some Android phones might be different, so just go to about or try to find build number. Once you find build number, there's something like a secretive thing that you do. You need to tap on build number for like five times and then you should go into developer mode. Now it's gonna show you a notification. It might ask you for your pattern or passcode. Just give it that pattern or passcode. That way you can go into developer mode really easily. Now, once you're in developer mode, some Android phones just uh, allow you to do that option when you scroll down to the settings, some of them make sure uh, you, sh you see them under system settings, but whatever you do, just try to find developer options. You can search for it on the settings if you want. Once you're in developer mode, you're gonna scroll down and turn on two toggles. One is called Wi-Fi scan throttling, and the other one is called mobile data always active. Now it depends on your Android phone, just make sure to scroll down and only toggle these two options, leave everything else like it is. You don't wanna harm your Android phone. So please make sure you only turn on these two toggles. So Wi-Fi scan throttling and mobile data always active. Once you have those two settings turned on, your speed will be much faster. So if you go ahead and open the speed test application, the one you used previously and you start on and you tap on start, you should be able to see that internet speed increase. So let's go ahead and start the internet speed once more and wait for that application to measure our speed. And obviously, even without the test being finished, it's much faster, but we're gonna wait for it to complete. That way we can get an accurate number. So now we're at around 90 megabytes per second, but it's increasing as the test is finalizing. So our final number is 103 and our usual number was 66. So that's almost a 53% increase. And our upload speed has increased as well. It went up from 4.6 or 4.8 to 13 megabytes per second. So as you can see, the internet speed is much faster and that's how you enable it. Now, the only disadvantage to this might be that the battery increases in efficiency. In other words, you might see your battery uh, percentage uh, go down more than usual so if that's something you're not okay with it you can just go ahead and go to developer options and turn that developer options off that way it disables everything you did so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and like